Hello. We're fixing everything. And because there is always something to fix. And it's summer. And it's summer. Um, ice cream maker. Brand new. I think used once and never worked after. It's out of warranty, so uh, let's fix it. It's not working. There isn't any. I was thinking when you pl when you put it in the bowl, like so, there will be uh, some protection, but there isn't. So let's have a look. That's the actual thingy. That's what you did. Do you know if there is other part? How how does how does this one stuck to? Oh, okay. Okay, this thing. I'll plug it in just to make sure it's not working. Can you see? Nothing happens. There is no protective. Some some of them got switched, so they know when they're switched uh, into the bowl or not. This one is just a normal switch. Nothing happens. I can see there is some security. Uh, Screws right in there, triangular ones, and I'll need a flathead screwdriver or something similar, very narrow to be able to reach them. So let me find the screwdriver. I couldn't find a flathead screwdriver. Usually, one of these here they fit. They fit into the screw right there and I can usually undo it. These type of screws are put on uh, electrical items nowadays to make you not repair the machine. And I really dislike that. So I made my old one. I know they sell them but I can't find anything around me. So I just made my old one. I had, I opened before what it was, uh, I think it was a steam iron. Uh, it had these type of screws on the outside and a normal Phillips head on the inside. So, uh, if you need a, if you need a screwdriver, just take a screwdriver and make yourself one on the grinder or something. Okay, I think that should be it. Okay, it's open now and what we can see is just a normal just a normal cable, I can't see any uh, thermal fuses. So let's grab the multimeter and see if any power is coming to the mixer. Okay, I'll switch it on. <clears throat> Let's turn the power on. So there should be 220 volts right there. Where's the needle? Never mind. 220 volts so 
220 volts are coming to the motor. Why it's not working? I don't know. Let's uh, take it out. Are these soldered? These are maybe soldered to the board. Can you see? So we have uh, these security bolts on the outside, but on the inside we have normal Phillips head. Okay, now. Now when the whole thing is out, let's try it again, maybe something is stuck, no? It's perfectly fine, but I got very ah, sticky grease. Let's try again. No. Okay. So what we can do now? There should be continuity between these two. There is no continuity, so it means that the coil that's inside, uh, something went bad with it. Okay, let's take a little, let's take a little knife. I think that's the problem here. Can you see no continuity? Which means that this thermistor, I think that's a thermal fuse. Thermal fuse it should be. Let's see if we do. So, let's try again. Uh, 
Ah. That's interesting then. So where is the problem? connection no maybe they have plenty of uh, lacquer on top of the copper wire and that's why yeah that's why there is lacquer on top of the wire or maybe it's my props let's try with different props Five hundred, five hundred ohms. I think that's a bit too much. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, let's see. One hundred and twenty-five degrees Celsius well, I saw it was beeping with the previous uh, previous leads anyway these are so big Yeah, no problem with this one. Let's see that. Which one is going to Maybe... Maybe the small thingy uh, burned uh, a little wire somewhere. I was hoping it's going to be a uh, I'll change my lead. I was hoping it's gonna be something smaller but you can just find the needle that can fit in there. So I put a small needle on the front. Let's uh go and put it right here. And let's continue testing. Oh, strange. Four hundred and twenty something ohms.
Uh -huh. Can you see where the problem is? Okay, let's do something else now. Let's do something else. Where's my soldering iron? Did you see where the problem was? Together. Okay, so I'll remove the protection because uh, I really don't think it's needed. And I will solder these two together and put this wire back on. Let's put a little bit of flex. Just want to go a bit more on the wire. together we need a bit more power We'll see now if this thing is working properly. Let's reuse this little. I think it's a thermal insulator a little bit. So. Ok, 
Okay, and this one as well. Okay, let's put it back in. This one is okay, right? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, the screwdriver. Oh, it is working. Okay. And definitely got plenty of power. Okay, let's put it back together. I'm not sure uh, removing the thermal uh, thermal switch or whatever it is is the best idea when it's working fine but I just didn't solve the problem straight away otherwise it was going to be a lot quicker to repair it as well I was thinking the problem is there but was looking very the connection was looking really good and I saw it right after I uh, right after I had a look on the connector but I'll know for the next time I think we should give it a test now with some ice cream Okay, let's give it a test proper now. So what we have now is the frozen bowl and the mixer. I just put it somewhere. So how it's supposed to work? I have no idea. I just have a look. I think there is three pins on the side that needs to be on the right place. There is a lock, roll lock and unlock right there. Like so, it's locked. And then you probably pour the solution through there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's plug it in. So now we need the solution. What is the solution? Something. The solution is something. Find your best recipe on the internet. So, should we pour it here? Yeah. 
maybe we're going to make a mess or not well the main thing is that the mixer is working I know that and you know that even if it overheats it will still work <laughs> because I removed the thermal protection <laughs> Well, uh, that's how to repair uh, ice cream mixer from uh, Lido. I think it's the Silver Crest brand. Like this one. I hope the video was helpful to you. I like it, subscribe if you like it. And I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.